Once again, good morning everyone. I am Nicole Fentes and I will be providing all of you a little background on Karin Yosa, a folk dance from the Mara Clara Suite of the Philippines. But before that, let's first discuss the objectives for today's lesson. First, describe the Karin Yosa dance. Second, examine the characteristics of the Karin Yosa dance. And lastly, appreciate the importance of Cariñosa to the Filipino culture. Cariñosa originated in Visayas, specifically in Panay Island, with historical origin dating back to the Spanish colonization era. And this dance represents the courting phase of a romantic relationship. The female dancer acts shy, and the male dancer does his best to get the approval of his loved one. And since Cariñosa is considered to be a dramatic dance, it is usually performed on occasions like traditional Filipino festivals, school, or in theater performances. Also, this dance is flirtatious in nature, which is why dancers must wear a smile when performing Cariñosa, as this dance once again represents the courting phase of a romantic relationship the facial expression of the dancers must be that of someone in love. Now, in performing Cariñosa, the dancers go through hide-and-seek movements. The dancers peek out at one another behind fans and handkerchiefs to show their tender feelings towards one another. That's why fans and handkerchiefs are necessary when performing Cariñosa as it places the couple in a romance scenario. Now, as for the musical instrument, Cariñosa mainly used rondalia. The rondalia is a block string ensemble of string instruments composed of five main instruments. Banduria, Octavina, Laud, Guitarra, and Bajo de Unas. Rondalia is derived from the Spanish word ronda, which means serenade, which is just perfect because Cariñosa is a courtship dance after all. Cariñosa is simply not just a folk dance. It is something that keeps the Filipino tradition alive. And by exposing Filipino to the cultural values associated with courtship and passing them on to the next generation, it preserves the Filipino culture. Other than that, this dance enables foreign people to get to know our culture. In that way, they would be able to understand and respect our customs and culture. But the question now is, how do we execute Cariñosa? Well, here's a sneak peek! more about the execution of Karin Yasa, you better watch and listen carefully to the next reporter. <laughs> 